Ensign can display a chart for any symbol in any time frame, including constant tick, constant range, constant volume, and seconds charts. The second button on the main ribbon displays a chart panel, where it's quick and easy to display a chart. The panel will open showing the symbol and the time frame that was last used. Select a vendor, symbol, and time frame and click the Open button. The first column is used to select a vendor, such as FX, for the FXCM feed. Select the top row of asterisks to have Ensign automatically search for a vendor quote page that contains the symbol being opened. Along the bottom of the form are tabs, one for each of the vendor symbol lists that contain entries. Select a tab to show your symbol list for a vendor. The entry on any list can be changed by clicking once in a list. If a time frame is already selected, you can double-click on the symbol to open a new chart. If the symbol is already selected, double-click on a time frame list to open a new chart. Entries and changes in the custom symbols, time, tick, range, and volume lists can be made by typing directly on the lists. After typing in an entry, press the Enter key so each row is an entry. You may use the editing tools of Cut, Copy and Paste to manage and organize your list contents. D is for a daily chart. W is for a weekly chart. M is for a monthly chart. And T is for a tick chart, where each data point is a single tick. Intraday bar charts use numbers for the minute duration of each bar. Seconds charts have an S in front of the number of seconds in each bar. Constant tick charts use a minus sign in front of the number of ticks in each bar. Range charts use an R prefix and the number is the bar size in points without a decimal. Volume charts have a V prefix in front of the volume value, where each bar contains the same volume. Put the bullet selection on New Chart to open a chart in a new window, or select Replace to reuse the chart window, which had the last focus. The charting feature is an excellent tool provided by Ensign. This concludes this training segment.